Yeah, what's up? It's your boy EB. You know, election season's coming through and everything. I spent my ties enough on this uh, same-sex marriage nastyism and stuff, right? But, you know, there's another big ticket on the ballot and stuff, and that is the issue of abortion. Now, I was with a woman. Won't get into detail about that because I don't want to you know, put her out, out there and everything. I'm kind of public, and if I gave up too much information, you guys would know who she is. But, you know, uh, to make a long story short, she found an old uh, picture of a woman that she sent me of herself, you know, that was in my phone quite a while before. I had a picture of her private parts, you know, but uh, leading up to the time, right before we got married and stuff, you know, and uh, at the time she found it, we had found out that she was pregnant and stuff, so she took it really, really hard and stuff and wasn't really okay with that or anything, you know, and I remember she woke me up out the middle of the night, slapped the shit out of me, and, and then says, you know what, that's it, I'm doing it, I'm going to have an abortion. And I'm like, what's that going to solve? So here I get my other kids all ready to be a big brother and sister, right? I just knew in my heart that it was going to be a boy. We was going to name him Solomon and everything. And uh, I begged her, cried, pleaded, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. And up going to the abortion clinic with her, you know what I mean? Because she's like, I need you to take me so I can drive home. I'm not going to be able to drive. I could have said, fuck no. You know, and that's, part, that, that's my responsibility in it. But, you know... Um, I was torn between this abortion issue, it's a woman's right to choose, and, and this and that and the other, and I wasn't really considering myself a pro-lifer like I do now, you see what I'm saying? And so uh, we walk up to the clinic, and all of a sudden these these people swarm on her like flies on shit. Oh, you can do this, you can do this. I'm getting pissed off at this time. They're pretty much telling her, it's okay, you can kill this man's child. And... um. I had to hold myself back because I really wanted to snatch a patch out of one of these people. And um, she goes in there and uh, there's this group of sisters, you know, uh, black women talking about how they're in there every every few weeks. And I told the nigga no, but, you know, he insisted we have sex. I was just here three weeks ago. Oh, girl, what you doing here? You was only here two weeks ago. And... And, and this and that. And they're just sitting there talking about this is just a normal occurrence for them to go have abortions and stuff. And really, I got up out of that area of the lobby because it was really pissing me off that life is so devalued when it comes to this issue and stuff. I ended up doing some more research. I'll get to that in a second. I, I went downstairs, smoked me a cigarette. You know, I smoked weed at the time. I, went in my car and I smoked me a blunt and you know she was in the waiting room and it's like uh, I had an emotional attachment to this unborn child and so when the life force was no more I felt it you know and I could imagine that you know my, my children you know what I mean that that I do have my my poor children you know it's like they're a part of me I can feel them you know what I mean this unborn child though I didn't feel that life force no more you know it's like a it's kind of like if you plug if you plug your your TV into the wall and the socket dies out, it's not gonna get no more power. That's the only way I could really explain it. I felt really, 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 really sad. I was depressed. I ended up assaulting this woman over this stuff, man. Um, I I probably kicked her ass a couple of times, and I'm not proud of that. And not to make an excuse, it's just I was so enraged that I couldn't do nothing to protect my child. You see what I'm saying? And there's going to be some of you guys that say a man should never hit a woman. There's going to be others you that say, hey, you know what good she got, what she deserved, and this and that and the other. But the whole thing's really, really sad because her kids got hurt behind that. My kids got hurt behind that. And that's one of the underlying reasons why our marriage failed. Oops. Anyway, you know, it kind of destroyed a whole bunch of dreams and stuff. Stuff. But then, you know, I do I do research beyond that, you know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of people think, you know, drugs, gang violence, this and that, you know, HIV, AIDS is the number one killing of black people in this country. But that's not necessarily the case. 
the number one killing of black people in this country is abortion. There's 25,000 abortions, black aborted babies daily here in America. So that must mean the most dangerous place for black people is in their mama's womb. And it is the truth. Black women lead the nation in abortions with Latino and Native American women, which is really disproportionate because we're, we're one of the lower minority groups now. And so if we're lucky enough to make it out of mom's womb, right? And we can, as a black male, we can survive living life without going to jail, without going to prison, without being killed in the streets by one of our own kind. Can you, do you see all the odds that, that we beat right there? That's the truth of the matter. Now, there's going to be people out there who say, right on, praise the Lord, no abortion is wrong, it's evil. Do I believe that? Not necessarily. If the woman was raped, she should have a choice whether or not to have an abortion. As a result of incest, they should be able to have an abortion. If, you're, if your kid's going to be severely retarded or develop, uh, underdeveloped or whatever, you should have to have a chance to have an, abor an abortion, you know? Yeah, that last one might have struck a couple nerves. Hey, do we abort a kid because they're mentally challenged? You should be able to have that choice. That's what I believe with abortion. But just because you don't want to have a baby, I think that's just some really selfish shit. Because you mad at the guy, that's some really selfish shit. Okay, because it's going to inconvenience your life. That's some really selfish shit. How about if, the, if you're not on birth control... You make the guy wear a condom, and if you don't wear a condom, you don't give up the pussy. How about that? Because a woman's right to choose whether or not to end her child's life before it's born. If you do that, you might as well just say moms can kill their kids if they want to. Yeah. Why not? Because it's the same thing. Your baby cries too much, you can kill it. Life begins at conception. America, and this, these are things that, uh, when you call it what it is, along the lines of it is what it is, you're pretty much saying a woman has the right to choose to kill a child, you know, and I don't think anybody should have the right to choose to take away what God created, whether it be in you, around you, or anything, and hey, it's a really touchy situation, I don't expect to get a whole lot of amens to this and stuff. You see what I'm saying? And basically, I'm here to talk about the things that people don't necessarily really want to speak on or they're too scared to talk about. And this is the truth of it. Uh, whenever you kill something that's alive, it's murder. So what's abortion then? No, the truth hurts, but the shoe fits, lace it up. If it makes you look ugly, get a makeover. I'm EP. I'm out.